What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Zeba Games. This is episode 37 being recorded on October 25th, 2020. Uh, yep. Yeah, I was going to say something, and then I was like, nah, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. <laughs> you ever have that happen? I have that happen a lot when I'm streaming. But, you guys, if you want, you can check us out. We're doing this live on Twitch every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or what time is that? 5 p.m. Eastern Time? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then if you want to do the middle, I'm not going to count every time because that's too much time. <laughs> or as some say, West Coast, the best coast time. I'm just saying. Just kidding. <laughs> we just talked about this a little bit, little bit ago, but I actually have to change my time for doing the stream. But nobody else does. Isn't that weird? Wait a minute. Because I, oh. I don't have daylight savings. You guys all have daylight savings. I don't. So, so... for you to do it at the same time as normal... I have to do it an hour later. So wait a minute. So what time would it be for me? Still same time. So four. you're you're doing this at four o'clock, right? Right. So now I'll be. So I'm doing the show at two o'clock my time. Next week I'll be doing the show at three o'clock my time. Oh, because we're going. Oh. I don't have daylight savings. I see. So I'm Pacific right now. On Sunday I become Mountain Standard. Oh, isn't that so weird? That is weird. Because all of everybody else in the United States and a bunch of other places feel like they need to change their time. <laughs> they, they need to quit doing that. They, they, <laughs> we, the whole story, weird. it is. The whole reason <laughs> and the story behind why they did that in the first place is is just silly. And it's old. And it's it's based on like I like what, okay. what World War Two or something like that. Yeah. So uh we can sh we can stop doing it if anybody's listening to the podcast i can do something about it we, we can stop if you guys you know you have our tried to, permission i remember we had a politician that came in that was trying to like force us to go into daylight savings time <laughs> really and we're like no like what <laughs> <laughs> like what's wrong with us we didn't do anything wrong we just we just we just live in life like i don't, right. don't touch our clocks <laughs> i think it yeah. who is it Arizona, Hawaii. Does Alaska do daylight savings? Or I don't remember. Um, I don't two know. Or three states. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, anyways, if you, yeah, we're doing our podcast, Xbox News for the week. Um, if you want, you can check us out on Spotify and uh, what's the other platform? Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Uh, there's some other ones. Amazon Podcasts. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah. That, that's pretty much it. Also, if you guys want to check out the shows on YouTube, Yogami does put them up on YouTube. It'll probably be live tomorrow normally, yeah. right? Usually, Goodness. usually tomorrow. Yeah. If you're and if you're watching my stream right now and it looks like it's lagging, it's because it is. <laughs> but it's okay because this is being recorded. So. Yes, it is being. Recorded. Um, if you guys want to check out our socials, you know you know where they're at. I'm not gonna call them all out. Um, also. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. We'll go through those names later. But if you guys want, you can uh, support us on Patreon and get into the giveaways that we have every month, except for these next three months, because it's special. They're special. They're special. Super special. Well, it's just we're just giving away an Xbox Series S. So, I mean, whatever. Like, if you, I mean, if you don't want it, you don't want it. But I'm just saying, <laughs> $5 gets you an entry into a five, Xbox Series S. Yep. Maybe if we had more supporters, we'd go for the next, but that is a little out of our uh, giveaway price. That's true. Yeah, we're working. We're, we're still, we're still, you know, we're still new. We haven't, we don't even have a year under our belt. So we'll get there. We're getting there though. We're getting there. Isn't that crazy to think yeah. about? Oh my gosh. Okay. You got me. Yes. Next Sunday will be the 1st of November. Yes. We will have our Xboxes on the 10th. I know. Well, I don't know if you will. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll have uh, Xboxes <laughs> in the wild on the 10th to consumers, not just to. True. Hey, what's up? Creatures. Five's in chat. What's going on, Five? Oh, five. Did I hear? Um, oh, there we go. I'm sorry. So there is some weird news to talk about this week, right? So Game yeah. Pass to get new games. Yeah. It's weird that they put these Halloween games out so close. To it, but we'll talk about those. Um, there were some weird things that I want to talk about too. Uh, we've, 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 2K has been uh, making some weird choices lately. Yeah. Uh, and they made some <laughs> really weird ones that came out this month. That, according to later in the week from when it actually happened, they said it was an accident to put 
unskippable ads inside of a, a game. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Total accident. Um, what else was there? Uh, there were some things we talked about with Halo this week. Oh, uh, yeah? But it was oh, old yeah. stuff. It was old, but new. <laughs> That's Chief Collection. Going to get some stuff. Um, and then we're going to talk. We're going to have a little discussion about this possible different tier of Xbox Game Pass coming out. Right. You hear about that? Yeah. Pretty excited to hear about those. Yeah. I've been really tired of getting all these text messages about hi i am jess with working america Jamal yeah I, there one er visit away from losing everything i am tired of getting those too i'm like seriously come on it's just I, oh man like, i mean i get it don't it's text me until do i do text it, you you know yeah it needs to be an opt-in system yeah, not, yeah. An opt, not an opt-out system That's right <laughs> like i'll let you know if i want you to text me ahead of time I'm sure there'll be a new regulation that comes into play here in the next year or two that's yeah. going to eliminate that problem. But yeah, in the meantime, so let's talk about these games for Game Pass. So these new games coming into Game Pass this week, uh, they come out on the 20, did I say 9th? Yeah, 29th, Thursday. So we're getting Grim Fandango, yep. Day of the Tentacle, and mm -hmm. Full Throttle. And you were just, you were saying earlier you want to play uh, Grim I Fandango. Wanna play I want a reason to play Grim Fandango. All right, let's do it. That's a reason. So, it's all, we're only going to get three days to play it. That's fine. We can do this. We got it. You know, we don't have to beat it. You just need it's to kind of a classic game, it. too. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's been true. around for a while. What, like, it's true. Tw over 20 years, something like that? Uh, I can tell you in like two seconds. Well, let's it's pretty out. old. Look, late 90s, like late 90s or something like that. 98. Da ha! By Tim Schafer. Yeah, I remember that game. Psychonauts. I didn't play it back then, but I remember seeing oh, it. So, your boy Wiggles in the house. What's up, uh, Wiggles? Sometimes, your boy Wiggles. Because we have people on Patreon, we can see their full names. I uh -huh. want to call people by full names just oh, like, yeah. awkwardly, like if we were streaming on Facebook. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I gosh. To, I was talking to NASA about that yesterday. I was like, "Is it weird to you? Like, like you have to like like memorizing people by two different aliases at the same yeah. time." Yeah. Because I went into somebody's chat the other day, and uh, my real name popped up, and I was like, what the heck? I thought I had it set for, you know, I was like, <laughs> delete. Like, were they like, who the heck was that? <laughs> well, and yeah, they didn't even know who it was, it was me. And they're like, hey, what's on? So welcome to them. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. And so then I, ref I, I, and then I accidentally refreshed, and it put my name back, and they recognized when they saw the Yogomi name, and then, but then when you put Yogomi, it says commented on commented by and then it has my real name there but it says the only they say the only people that could see that are the people who moderate i guess or or manage the channel but i guess that means mods i was like i'm out i'm out i'm out like, yeah, yeah i don't need everybody no. know my name but you know cool, no man. no no not, not on facebook uh-uh jeez i'm at a 20 percent drop frames rate it's, it's bad i'm sorry guys that are watching the stream <laughs> Goodness, I'm watching my bit rate just like flying all over the place. That sucks. So I think if they're talking about the level the level three jump, so it goes from here, from my house, right, to their servers, and it goes and I'm in a small town, so it goes their servers all the way to Phoenix servers. Oh, okay. And in Phoenix, there's some I don't know why, but they catch it like there's something they got over there that's catching IPs. And uh -huh. they're like the IPs that are throwing down like the most traffic and they're putting in like a I guess they just all like, I think it's RTMP files is what they're not liking. I oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're hitting. And so. And it's messing it up for everybody. Well, I know the high school is having a really big problem over here. So they're trying to stream stuff and mm -hmm. it's not working out for them. And so. What did you say the other two games were for? Day of the Tentacle and Full Throttle. Oh, so they're all Tim Schafer games. Yes. Oh. They're all, oh my gosh. What company is that? Why can't I, I just lost the Lucas company. LucasArts or? That's who no. did Grim Fandango. Tim Schafer owns Double Fine. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to Double Fine after that. 2000, Double Fine was made. Okay. Founded Double Fine Productions in, tw in July 2000. And now is owned by Microsoft. Yep. It is. Hey, Psychonauts. Man. Game Pass. 
Sorry, I'm all over the place right now. That's good. No, so, I like it. Keeps so me on my there toes. were some cool things that came today about Halo. Mm -hmm. Not today, but this week. Right. So Halo Master Chief Collection. It's gonna get some a uh, little bit of a what do we want to call it a upgrade. I don't mm -hmm. even know if that's the right word to use. Is it upgrade? Like that is like this is taking it to a different level. Yeah. Uh, fully optimized Xbox Series X and S. Mm -hmm. 120 20... frames per second in campaign yeah. and multiplayer. Yeah. 4K split screen. And guess what? It's still part of Game Pass, which if it wasn't, I'd be a little more upset. But yeah. I'd be like, ah, what? Yeah. But this is the sad part. It's not coming out on launch day for mm, Xbox. Yeah. The next week, which is only seven days out, which is fine. That's not bad, to, though. We're going to have plenty to play. November yeah. is a nightmare. <laughs> I know what, have, I know what I'm going to be playing. What comes out? Is it? Is Yeah, Watch Dogs comes out this. Is it? Like here, like next week? Uh, let's see. Watch Dogs. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember now. Watch Dogs. Um, Who can what's, the name? what's the name October of October 29th. Uh, oh, wow. Comes out Thursday. This yeah. week. Yeah, that's this week. <laughs> Your boy yeah, Wiggles, so, he knows. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you got that, right? Yeah. Miles Morales comes out on, for PlayStation. Right. Um. I'm just trying to think of all these games. Like shortly afterwards, we have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's day, correct? That's day day and date with Series X. Yes. Um. Then I had the other game in my head right there. And I just lost it. Yep, lost it. Regardless, Destiny's expansion comes out that day. Too bad yes. we don't get the upgrade for a month. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> it's still gonna load faster. I'm not, I, you know, I mean, we're not gonna get the frame rates, but it's gonna definitely load yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It will nice. definitely load faster. That's for sure. Man, Destiny itself is gonna be enough. Oh, I just, just might have forgot one of the biggest games of the year coming out. You know, Cyberpunk, whatever. Yeah. You gonna play it? <laughs> I'm, I'm all about that game. I'm actually pretty excited about that. I want to play that game. I'm worried that it's gonna be overhyped. Yeah, it, it could be. It could be. It's possible, but I I don't know. I just I don't know. It just looks it looks like a really fun game. It looks like something. I'm just hoping that it's it's a game that you can just really just be immersed in. What if it's the game that pulls me away from Destiny Two? Okay, forget I said that. Sorry, I'm sorry. Single player. Sorry, everybody. That's the thing that that's the thing that's sad though. It's only single player, right? Yeah. Like if yeah. it was, I know they're talking about it coming eventually mm -hmm. but i still gonna be fun i get I, I, it's a very immersive game i wish i don't know ever since i read ready player one like so i watched the movie i read the book yeah and i'm like dude i'm like why can't we have something like that dude? i know like, right i know all games living in harmony but if you want access to a certain world you gotta pay for it yeah and that's how you buy games yeah <laughs> wanna, oh man that's so sick that like, would that be good sick idea Hey, you never know. You know, global economy for video games. Yeah, I mean, these are things that are we see in books and movies. But I mean, we saw like things like iPads and books and movies like years ago, and now yeah. we have them. So, never know. I mean, we could really not be that far away. I, I mean, you know, with VR you know and all that stuff. I mean, it's everything's getting closer and closer. It is. Speaking of a company making everything work together, Ubisoft did that. Did you see how they announced mm -hmm. their thing today? Yep. Or not today, this week. When was it? Yeah, it was, uh, uh, I think, a Thursday? Yeah, a couple days, a few days ago. Hey, oh, nuts for butts. butts. Your controller will be shipped to you on Monday. Yep. And you will have it. I just got it yesterday and signed it. I was all trying to figure out how the heck do you, I like wrote down <laughs> how to write a, what's it called? DJ Hero, like sign it <laughs> like a million times. I like right up here. I'm like, I don't even know how you write this. Like, <laughs> and then I went to write it and it didn't even look like how I was practicing. I was like, well, it still looks good though. <laughs> but Ubisoft announced Ubisoft Connect. It's going to be, it's their new thing. Basically, it's going to make it so all of your accounts are able to play everywhere. Yeah. On all things, cross progression and cross play for all the new games. Yeah. So say you have Assassin's Creed Valhalla and you, or actually let's do Watch Dogs Legions because I believe there's a like decent multiplayer in that from what I think they were talking about, putting multiplayer in there. 
you're playing in there. Your boy's like, hey, bro, I'm over on PlayStation. You want to play? You're like, oh, yeah, let me just jump over. <laughs> Boop, log into your Ubisoft Connect account. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Too bad other companies have already done that, and I'm acting like it's a big deal. But yeah. It's yeah. still cool. Regardless. It is. It's still it is. cool. The companies are making that happen. It is. It is really cool. I dig it. Kind of. DJ Hero. That's not me. That's Hero. Sorry. I got to make sure. People that are listening, I'm talking to Hero. H-E-E-R-O. I'm H-E-R-R-O. We're tight. Okay. Anyways. So, what do you think about this 120 frames per second? I'm all does about that, it. I'm does all that about mean it. that we're going to have to... We said we were going to play through all the campaigns and we didn't. So, does that mean that we need to now? I mean, at 120 frames per second, that's a pretty good... Uh, that's very tempting. It's a like very 4K. good incentive. I take a 4K, like a solid 60. Like I want, you know what I mean? And that's gonna look good. Cause right now they oh don't they don't have solid 60s. They're very uh, right. It's kind of all over the place. Yeah. But mm, mm, take that 120 though. Yeah. All about the um, 120. So there was a, a a possible thing gonna happen. Another thing with Halo. So this was infinite. Right. They're talking mm -hmm. about maybe shipping campaign and multiplayer shit separately. It's an option on the table. What do you think about that? Is that bad or is that good for Halo Infinite? Mm, so for me, uh, I mean, it's, that seems bad, but yeah, I'd say, I know, I know everybody's going to complain about that. Everybody would think it's bad, but for me, I would only, I would play the um, campaign anyway. So as long as the campaign's first, I'd be fine with it. See, I don't know if they would do the campaign first. So that's the thing. I think that's the thing that they're having the most. Probably, I would see that. Yeah, because yeah, I don't know. And then throwing the multiplayer. We're assuming the multiplayer is going to be free to play from what it's looking like. Yeah. Which, is I mean that's an easy pull into Game Pass, right? Put that game out free. Hey, if you get Game Pass, you get all these cool skins and the campaign. Yeah. And all the battle passes, or you know, they, I, they'd come up with something. I don't, I yeah. don't know exactly what their money whatever plan is for that game but yeah i i don't know i don't think they will i don't think it'd be a good i don't think it'd be a smart move for them no i don't think so either so life. many people would be so upset and they'd be like oh why can't we have everything now so you know that's true hero makes a good point he says so there's players that might not have gold, Xbox Live Gold, to play online and just play the campaign. Mm -hmm. Or there's those that might just want to play online and don't care about the campaign. This can help save room for most players. True. It's true. And then, or you don't end up with, uh, what, 200 gigabyte downloads for uh, <laughs> yeah. our Warzone? Yeah. Gosh, I just want to play Warzone. I'm like, no, nah, you got to download everything. <laughs> it's true. It's like, why is it? I, know, <laughs> I think look DJ at you looking, looking at, at you, you cod dj here the other <laughs> dj here i would chat that <laughs> uh, was funny and i mean i i do think that it needs to get to a point where a lot of these companies need to make it where you download what you want if you want to play the story you go into the game download the story and then you can play the story but you know what i mean like have like a a very uh like a landing screen almost for every game, right? So you go into the game, you click the game like you want to play it. You click, I want story. Loads the story. Right. Loads the story. And right. And you wait, and then that's how you start to download. But I don't know. You already know. People are going to be mad about anything and everything that anybody does. Yep. So. Yep. You're always going to upset somebody. So you mm -hmm. might as well just do what you want to do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like Speaking I say, of, it's funny how oh, people say ahead. people. It's just funny how the saying is you can't please everyone, but everybody still wants you to try. It's true. Speaking of people not caring what other people think, <laughs> e or 2K decided to smack this one out of the park this month. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So uh, this week, uh, NBA 2K21 decided that they're just going to, you know, throw in uh, unskippable ads <laughs> right in the middle of everything. Yeah. Here That's you go. so messed up. It's so messed up. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Greed. It's greed, man. Do you not remember we had this conversation about them making us buy the game? Like, yes. in order to get both 
editions of the game. Yes. You had to pay $100 to get the same game twice. Yes. And then they just, they're like, oh, man, did we just add random? This is a month after launch. This game didn't just come out. No. And I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm never playing the game anyway, but the it's just greed all of the things that they're doing is all greed we want more money that's Man, all I just, it is i kind of i wonder how much this ea play deals with game pass like uh-huh. they had to have imagine the, the arguments with that one to get that set up right like no right. we deserve way more than that so many people come play yourself they're like all right you need to calm down we know there's not that many people on ea play okay <laughs> right <laughs> they're just like listen Okay, we're going to give you this little tiny amount. The more people play your games, the more money we'll give you. Right. Other than that, don't don't count your, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, don't don't count your, I can't even think of the word, don't count your money, but in, or don't spend your money before you count it. Oh, yeah, uh, you're right, right. <laughs> yeah. I think, I don't know if that was the right way to word it, but uh, it, it makes sense. I mean, they're saying, they're, they're acting like they make a lot of money. But yeah, so the saying is don't count your Oculus. eggs before they hatch, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but there was, they were saying there was Oculus Quest commercials. There was Amazon <laughs> commercials, like just weird stuff. Wow. In a full price game, not even a free to play game where like they felt like they needed to make money. <laughs> I just, this is total greed, man. They have, they clearly don't care about the player. They're just like, yeah, we're just going to be greedy. Yo, what's up, Michael? Yeah. And then on UFC 4. They did the same thing. They put in little ads in the corners or mm-hmm. the, like across the yeah. bottom. They're like, here's an ad like for the, the boys on Amazon. You're like, Whoa. and they made money <laughs> off of that. They sold that space to someone. So someone paid for that. Yeah. They didn't just randomly pick a random ad. They're like, no, hey, we're just no, going to do like, a favor and put, our ad, put your ad on our screen. <laughs> and think about this. So there's, there's, there is a, there's a, there's like a, a, you know, a whole procedure that goes through. Right. So they're yes, like, hey, yes. we need to make some money. So let's let's open up uh, these spaces for people to use to for us oh, to sell boys. them uh, ad space. So then, so that it was a very de- like you said, it's not an accidental thing. It's a very deliberate thing. Any kind of ad space that means they opened it up and they reached out to people and said, "Hey, you know, we got some ad space if you want to buy some." You know what I mean? So yeah, it was it was and they're yeah. gonna have a lot of eyes, especially like the yes. first like month of a game. Yes. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. Greed, man. And then they've also said that they don't believe that they do enough microtransactions. <laughs> yeah, because they're not making enough money, 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 money. That's true. Five was just adding this. We'll just add it too because it's kind of it's funny too. So Oculus Quest is forcing people to have active Facebook accounts. Oh, of course they are. <laughs> and it it draws up, it throws a flag, and it won't let you get on if you like create. You just created the account and then linked it to there. So if you go make like a fake account, it, it like throws up flags. Like there was a like server, not server problems. What's the word I want? It just had like red flag showed up, and it wouldn't let you log in to your. That's Oculus funny. Quest. <laughs> well, how? I mean, how else are we gonna steal your information? Come on, help us out. Don't they own Oculus already? I know. I don't understand. What else do you need? Like, let the people just play on another account. Oh, God. I know. It's pretty <laughs> crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh, man. Is, it's, I mean, this is the age we're in, though. You know, this age of technology and everybody's info not really belonging to them anymore. <laughs> like it's you, true. It's, imagine, like, you step foot inside a mall and now... Uh, all right, everybody, now that you're inside the mall, everybody around here can see what kind of underwear you have on. Uh, they know what's, what's in your wallet. Your yeah, your they know. Food? Yeah, they, everybody knows that now. Just FYI, just want to let you know. Once you step in this mall, you have assigned the, you, you agreed to the, uh, to our, you know, agreement that, uh, you know. <laughs> so like, imagine like smart glasses, right? We, those are those like the, what are they, what were they calling? Yeah, I want to say smart glasses, right? Everybody kind of gets what that is, right? So glasses that have like a, a HUD, right? Yeah. The yeah. heads up display on your glasses. Imagine walking into a mall and like companies can pay for like certain advertisements to pop up while you walk by their places. Right. 
Or they're like, oh, we're having this sale. You're like, oh, on my face. I don't want to see this. <laughs> You're going to have to put your social security number yeah. in your gamer tag soon. <laughs> and so they actually have something like that set up anyway. Well, they, they were doing it a few years ago. This was about, uh, let's see, 2020. This is about eight, eight or nine years ago. They were working on something to where you were going to have something on your phone anyway, right? So yeah. like if you walked into Best Buy or Target and you walked by, say, if you walked by a, a, a end cap, so like a, at the end of what that means, an end cap is like at the very end of an aisle, they'll promote some one thing at the end of that aisle, like, I don't know, toilet paper or something like that. Yeah. And then if you walked by it, it would detect that your phone was by it and then pop up uh, something on your phone that said, hey, there's a discount on this stuff, you know, or whatever. Now, but now they can dial it in more because they're like, oh, we know what you like now. So now we can focus. If you go into a store, we know that you bought this, 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 and this, and we can tell you that this, 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 and this is on sale. Uh, so it's pretty wild, man. You know, it's pretty wild. What's up, Josh? It's... Yeah. Dude. And now, never, uh, now they're doing right. it in games. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm just kind of tired of it all. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah, you gotta find it. The newest, the the they gotta get you to see stuff as fast as possible. Right? That's true. It's kind of the idea, right? So Whoever they can, can get make you the money. First. Yeah. I mean, you, you we don't think about it. When we look at Amazon, right? We type in like, I'm gonna look at friends. That there, we'll take that tablet I bought, right? I was like, oh, I need to get a screen for that tablet. I just bought it. So right when you buy it, when you select the tablet underneath it, there's like, we also recommend these items with it. It shows you a case and like protect protectors. And I was like, eh, I don't really like that case, but I kind of like those. Those are the good protectors. I like go to the click. I go to look at cases for that. There's the promoted. There's the Amazon's choice. There's the best seller. There's yeah. like, like how much of that is true? How much of that is they just paid money to get themselves put up there? Um, there's whole programs that Amazon has where like they literally will send you stuff to write a review for them. Right. Right. Like there's a guy on my, I was telling you, I've told you that before that guy on my route on uh -huh. GPS, dude, he got a freaking 120 pound wine cooler <laughs> just that, to that get they sent to him just to review <laughs> and he gets to keep it after he reviews it. Like wow. a window AC unit. This guy, like, dude, he gets all kinds of stuff just all the time. He's like, I have it. He's like, all these things that you've delivered. He's like, I've only ordered like one out of the ten I like one out of ten items every time. Wow. He's like, everything else is just getting sent here. And like, I'm like, so you just have like a bunch of stuff just sitting there. He's like, yep. <laughs> I was like, wow. yeah. So nuts for butts. Ask a good question. How do I get on this program? That guy, I guess, just. Everything that he ever bought from Amazon from the just, very beginning, yeah, he just started wrote making, a review, yeah, and good reviews, good like reviews that like people look at. We were talking about, we talked about it what, about a month ago. I was doing reviews on a bunch of things. You'd get no, oh, you just got one too, like last week, right? It told you like oh, I did. Your I did, yeah, at, like a thousand times, a thousand times, like, oh. yeah. I reviewed right. something um, that I received that actually didn't work uh, very well. And, um, huh? I, my, well, I, you know, my review was, I think my review was fair. It wasn't all like, you know, this thing sucks. You know, I, I told, I explained what I bought and what I expected and why it didn't work. So maybe it was a good yeah. review. I don't know. I never really thought about it until Not I saw like that email. Those, uh, you didn't want to write one of those, uh, reviews, uh, what do they call the, uh, where you go into the reviews and like, I didn't arrive late. You're like. Oh yeah, that's not, that's, that's, that's uh, not the item. Yeah, really. that's the shipping. Uh, you guy. still have the item, right? And you're still using it. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, the items of ten out of ten. Right? Yeah, yeah. I would have given it five stars, but it showed up a day late. <laughs> oh, the, that's real though. Like people really do that. Though. Like they blame it on. The yeah, they don't. It's, it has nothing to do with the actual product or the use of it. But item yeah. came to my house broken. Was yeah. The box looking bad too. You're like, yeah, it was the box was bad too. You're like. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Yeah. I, don't I, I don't even understand it anymore yeah. but yeah people are crazy they are so how did we get here uh, uh, the gads and the we started with oh, the yeah. ads <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh what's up I icon I did. okay I see what I, I did I followed it um yeah ads at EA EA. Why? But Why? EA has such a bad not reputation as it is. EA. Oh, wait. Is that EA? That's not even EA. That's 2K. I keep linking. Oh, is it 2K? But oh, yeah. EA still has their own problems. Yeah, Man, they I do. I always do that. 
I listen to other podcasts too, and I catch it too. Yeah, I catch people doing the same connection, and I'm like, dang it, I did it too. <laughs> I'm like, no, I was like, you keep saying the wrong one. Now I'm saying the wrong one. <laughs> they just feel like the same company, though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they do. <sighs> I think it's because the, the- uh, a lot of the games are similar or kind of the same, you know. It's true. When do you think sports games? Who do you think? Uh, yeah, EA. Th- yeah, I EA. Think EA. Get in the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh great uh, now you just put an ad for them in our p- podcast way to go uh, Michael Chad Jackson. way to go <laughs> thank you guys we just made 35 cents for that <laughs> no, just kidding <laughs> oh just kidding um this is totally a random one I'm just gonna mm. add this in there but yeah so PUBG uh it's getting a big old update here in a second for 60 FPS not just for new consoles but also for Xbox Ones Oh, really? Xbox One X. Yeah, Xbox One X is going to get a 60 FPS mode. Interesting. Which is pretty huge. Yeah. Because games like Destiny wouldn't even do that. Right, right. And I get Destiny has a little bit more to deal with, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. PUBG is a set map. They know exactly what's going to be, where it's going to be. Like, uh, Destiny has all those particles and all those explosions and everything going on at once. It's a little bit different. It's true. I mean, there was a lot happening in the map, though. <laughs> Look at our uh, PUBG. I'm nuts for butts. Ads find ads, a way. Ads uh, find a way. <laughs> Malcolm, Dr. Malcolm. Nice, nuts. Good, good Jurassic Park reference there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> um, I wanted to go to this one too. I want to talk a little bit about this one. It's nothing crazy, but it is a really cool thing that they that Xbox is doing for accessibility stuff. They always, you know, you know what I mean. They are always big on mm-hmm. finding ways to make it where you can play games where, the way yeah. you want to play, which is good. wherever you want to play. Mm-hmm. So Xbox Game Pass, uh, like your X Cloud stuff, mm-hmm. or even the other thing we're gonna talk about here in a second, where you can play games on your iOS tablets now and phones. Yes, but yes. there's ten games now that are allowed you can have touch controls on the screen so you pull up your tablet and you don't have to hook a controller up to it you can just there's a little control on the left a little control on the right on the screen and you use really? those yeah so we got minecraft dungeons my favorite hot shot racing it's not really my favorite it's just a really fun game uh tell me why streets rage 4 undermine this is actually we'll say that one last because it's like it's they, that's why they put it right there but uh new super lucky tales Guacamelee 2, Killer Instinct, Slay the Spire, and check this one out. Hellblade send you a sacrifice. Oh. With on screen touch controls. Like Wow. That That's crazy? really cool. That is really cool. I mean, something so little, works. but it's like, yeah, it's something so little, but it's at the same time, it's like it's huge. Yeah. But it's gonna hurt the developers. It's gonna affect them developing for the game, having to do that. So what you're saying is Good let's job. not worry about anybody who can't play games like you. Okay. Yeah. Way to go. Or all the, I still I still hear people that are like, well, I just really wish that when they made uh, these new games for next year console, I just wish that they were making not making them for the old gen still. I still hear that argument all the time <laughs> because it's going to hold back the new games. Like, no, it's not. They don't they don't start from the bottom and build up. Like, right. <laughs> You build for the best, and then you shave for the least. Right. 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 They're not, what developer makes a game that are like, all right, now that we've made it this base model, let's make it look like the best game we can possibly make. Yeah, we, right. It can play on a Game Boy Advance, but we want to make it play on a $5,000 PC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're going to start with Game Boy Advance, though. Yeah. <laughs> because that's the easiest. We're going to go for the easiest place Yeah, first. yeah, yeah. That's it funny. worked from the top down to the bottom, guys. Um, I want to go to the real good part of our conversation that I want to have today, though. And yeah. I want you guys in the chat, too. I want you guys in on this one with us. So Phil Spencer talked about a possibility of an xCloud TV streaming stick, uh-huh. which it kind of feels like that should have should happen anyways, right? Yeah. Because like, not everybody's going to get smart TVs. Just plug in a little HDMI with power adapter to it in the back of your TV. Boom. You're on Xbox, which is cool, right? And it's gonna yeah. make sure you have a good connection. Wi Fi. It's gonna. I guarantee it's gonna have good Wi-Fi to it, so it's gonna be fine. Right. That's gonna be cool. 
I'm really excited to do that. Yeah. I but, s- go ahead. No, I was, uh, no, just go ahead. I was just saying I saw – I was actually watching something about this last night. Yeah. And so this this is the other thing, that a potential of having different tiers of Xbox Game Pass, mm-hmm. which we already have, right? So we have like you just have your we'll just we'll even use gold as like a tier for right. Xbox. So you right. have your gold, then you have Game Pass, then, then you, you have, have PC Game Pass, then you have Game Pass Ultimate. Ultimate. Right. No more consoles in twenty forty. I don't know. I don't think we will. I think by then we'll be all streaming everything everywhere. Yeah. But oh, so he talks about a potential of a Game Pass Platinum. What would they do with a Game Pass Pat Platinum? Yeah, that's gonna sell people to it. That's why I was like, man, like, because I don't think they're. Somebody made a good point. Like, when you create something like Game Pass or like different kind of like where you're giving people what they something they paid for, you don't want to take away something that they're paying for, right? Right. So they, we've they've already told us Game Pass Ultimate, Game Pass whatever. You're gonna get first party exclusives or first party not even exclusive first party games day and date. On Xbox Game Pass. Right. So say you get Platinum. What are some things you think would be potentials for that? I don't know. Platinum. Because I thought of some already. I thought of different ones that I was like, yeah, I can do that. Right. So Battle Passes, right? Sure. DLCs. So yeah. Like, so yeah. Battle Passes, DLCs. Uh, I just had another one. Maybe Platinum gets you more games each month, like kind of how we get games with gold. Right. Yeah. Um, I was also thinking, what if it's early access to the games, right? Like, say you get, like, a week early. You know what I mean? Yeah. Say say you get, they get to play a week early. Not even a week. A week's really long time, it feels like, even though it's really not. But, like, three days. Right. Like three days of game time early before everybody else gets to play it. I don't know. I feel like that's... I feel like that's... <sighs> Is it worth it? How much more a month? Am I going to pay $5 more a month for this? I mean, I'm not going to say that I'd be upset with it. I'd still pay for it. That's just because of the person that I am. I don't know if you would, you got me, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, yeah, that's fine. I'd do that. I'd do that. I don't know. I tend to... When it comes to stuff like that, I tend to just, like, do it. You know what I mean? I, I don't really hold back on stuff like this. I, for a while there, it took me a while to switch to Ultimate because I didn't really... I didn't really understand what the what the benefit was because yeah. I was like, I'm fine with just gold. And then I was like, you know what? It actually does make sense because now I have access to all these other games too. So yeah. um, it just ne- I just needed to make sense to me, but I, I didn't hesitate once I figured it out. You know, I it's true. I for me, I just want the best experience um, possible. And any, uh, any, any experience for gaming where I have access to any game at any time um, and, uh, and the potential for more games in the future, I'm there. But I don't, I'm still like trying to figure out like, uh, well, I guess the thing too with game, with, uh, with game Pass is that some of the games go away. Yeah. So I guess so he, keeping let me do some, some math games. for you too. Okay. Let me do some math for you too. Okay. So say we take we take Destiny. We'll use Destiny as an example, right? right? So we're gonna have to buy the battle pass. Right. For a season. How long is a season normally? Mm, a few months. Yeah. So several months. Uh so it's gonna cost what it costs twenty bucks, right, for the season pass? Mm-hmm. Usually. So let's add five dollars more a month. So that's four months. Right. So, so then, then you're already you're already balanced out. If you were only playing Destiny, right? And now, the, what if you're playing Rocket League? Yeah, or and what if you're playing and ESL, Division or something like that? Yeah, ES, ESL Plus, or right. you could playing. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. There's all these battle passes, all these games that are on Game Pass. I mean, right? I, I get like so they're saying twenty dollars a month is pushing it. Uh, game Pass is is just fine. I think Game Pass, as it is, it is great. I think it's perfect. But, I mean, you got to look at the potentials that you can have. And, like, originally when we thought about this, like, Xbox All Access, remember how many, like, flags went up for everybody? Yeah. Like, we're like, whoa, like, they're, they're going to pay you. You're going to have interest. Like, they're going to screw you. And yeah. Like, and then you find out that you're actually saving money by going with Xbox All Access. Right, right. So I just – it's. 
I don't think Microsoft is out to get you. No. <laughs> I, I think... know they're out there to make money, but we see money in a different way. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think they want more people playing the playing their systems and playing their games, right? It's it's the way that they're going to uh, beat Sony. Yeah. Um, and I want to say yes, and I just want to say no, Nuts. So Nuts says, do you think the season passes would only be limited to Xbox Game Studios? Oh, no. Well, I would you say. You got to remember that this is a real. This is just like this. Is, he said something kind of like this, like that they thought about. They, obviously, you know them. They've had to have thought of a million different potential opportunities True. and like things that they could do. Like, <laughs> Who the hell went to the table one day and said, yo, we should buy Bethesda. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you imagine everybody in the media, they're like sitting there all looking at the papers, they're all like, what? <laughs> Did you, what? Yeah. How much How much do they want for it? They're like, ah, they're kind of saying like $7.4 billion. They're like, <laughs> who, who's going to go ask dad? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better have some good numbers for that one because that is not going to like that one. Yeah. No, just kidding. But they did it. They you did it. It's going to be a harder sell. Take cars. People buy a monthly, people buy by monthly cost more worried about payment than what you get for it. It's true. I mean, uh, some, somewhat, right? Like, well, uh, much. I don't know about that. I mean, I just, I make sure if I, I make sure I get the car that I want. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm going to be paying for it at the beginning. And then I look at the money if paying that much money. Right. Worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I paid, say if I paid, I mean, the cars are a little different. Say I paid $50 more a month to get this different thing added to my truck. Right. Most likely I'm going to, like, if it's what I wanted, I'm going to take it, right? True. And I, and I, I think it goes with, like, we got to remember this too with, like, the mentality with Xbox, right? Xbox doesn't want everybody buying the highest line thing. They're not trying to sell everybody Series X's. That's why right. they made the Series S. This thing's right. $300. It's got everything you need yeah. and want. Yeah. All right there. Xbox Platinum. Xbox Game Pass Platinum. Yo. Who's going to buy it? Top, not, I don't want to say top tier. That was going to sound bad. I said top tier people. But people that want the best experience. But think about, though, we we're talking about this, this sort of gaming stick thing right because i saw what, yeah. what what it might look like it looks like you know like a like the amazon fire, fire stick. stick or whatever it looks very yeah. similar so imagine if you had that and it worked just like any other you know except for you obviously you don't have a hard drive or anything like that it's all in the cloud but yeah. you had uh you had ultimate game pass ultimate i mean you're you're set you're pretty much set that's true there's or, or well, I guess you did not have to spend. Right. I guess you console. would only do Game Pass though, because uh, because uh, gold and all that stuff wouldn't make it wouldn't matter or it wouldn't count if you can't download the games. That's true. You can't download them to the stick, but still, Game Pass is so worth it for just well, having a stick and yeah. just paying a few whatever how much a stick would cost, and you you subscribe to the service, Jeez. and then you have access to all these games. I, I mean. That's a pretty good deal. So I would I don't know if what is this something a higher tier would would work with those with that crowd whoever buys the stick. But um, those people would have bought a Series X. That's if right. They were worried about right. getting the highest tier. Right. But Game Pass <laughs> alone would be like you you're good to think about that. You plug that into your TV, you are good to go. Good to go. Oh, and with what stuff like, world. and I doubt that, I <laughs> doubt Destiny is going to go away from Game Pass. I don't think it will. I don't think so either. I think they're going to be, uh, they're going to, they're finding a nice seat at the table. Right? Yeah. So you're like set. And that's know? not if there is actually a seat at the table for them. If you True. Know what I'm saying. Right, 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 right. A potential uh, always. Right. And Microsoft's like, you know what, Bungie? Like, you've been here long enough. Just come, just, just come back home. Like, yeah. It's the prodigal son, okay? Um, we bake cookies. Except for they didn't really go south. They kind of just kept going up. But. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> true, true. Dan. I don't know. I like that discussion. That's fun to yeah. think about. It really gets you, it gets you thinking, though, man. Yeah. Like, when I, I watched something on that stick uh, last night, and I was like, you know, I would get that. I would oh, totally yeah, get dude. that. 
My, my, my wife doesn't want an Xbox on the entertainment center out there in the living room. <laughs> you just like, plug a no stick in No matter how far, yeah, throw a thing in the back of the TV, you don't even know it's there. She's yeah. like, wait, how are you playing Xbox out here? You're like, oh, where am I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's probably low cost investment on the stick. And then you're, and you pay for your Some monthly. Some people were saying like a potential of it being free. The as stick? part of like paying for Game Pass. I'm like saying. You could literally go, by, oh my gosh. I, just, I, I pictured the whole packaging right there in my head. Yeah. Imagine the little stick comes with a media remote and a controller and 12 months Game Pass. Yeah. Yeah. $100. dollars like, boom, you're set. <laughs> yeah. Like, and you still have is, all the other stuff here? too that goes with it, right? You still have all the apps. So you have Netflix on there and oh my gosh. Amazon Prime, whatever, you know, whatever is on there. You have all that stuff on there too. I don't know, man. It sounds like a smart <laughs> the first, move. The first comment on this article. Come the F on. Platinum because it gets more ultimate than ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, it does. What's more ultimate than ultimate? <laughs> Platinum. Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. If if it happens, it happens. I don't think it would be a thing that would happen in the first year. I don't think it's – I think this is like a, just somebody something threw on the table. Yeah. The guy that was interviewing asked the right question, and he's like, I'll answer it. Sure. And he's like, this is something we're talking about. He's like, just both of those, like the streaming stick and the different tiers of X, of uh, XCloud. Same with – I think that was the same interview. Was the was it the Halo, like possibly the split thing? Splitting Halo Infinite, whatever, with the multiplayer and the campaign. Yeah. It's just, it's all yeah. speculation. It's all how we see it. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. There's still like a PlayStation, but you know, real talk when someone was like Game Pass Platinum, I was like, wait, are they going to put Game Pass on the Xbox? I mean, the PlayStations? And I was like, are you going to get like a Platinum for it? I was like, no way. Yeah. <laughs> that was my first thought. And then I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> no. But yeah, I feel like this is for people that demand the best of whatever they are getting, and they want the they want the best experience. That's what all of that really. Is. That's what platinum right. would be, and so it's not for everybody. It's I listen. I we me and you got me like we buy things, we have money to buy things and stuff like that. But like at the same time, it's like I still hesitate buying games. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> I'm like. Yeah, I'm like I don't know if I want to buy that game. Like that's sixty bucks. I'm yeah, like, but like in a heartbeat, I will go and buy a new controller. <laughs> I will play a game on Game Pass. I'll buy a season pass for a game on Game Pass. Yeah, I will too. That's because we're getting so stuck. Up, not stuck. We're all we're so content with how much we have with this Game Pass. Like it is. I like it. Oh man, I like it a lot. I do. This is totally random. Just came to me too. Speaking of Game Pass stuff, we see that Rainbow Six Siege with season one or, or year one and year two all DLC is included in Game Pass right now. Oh That's yeah, crazy. That so is all cr- the operators for one and two for season one and two. Wow. That's freaking awesome. That game is fun, but it is toxic. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Literally. have yet to play it multi multiplayer, so I really? I've watched so many people play. I watched I've watched so many streamers you play, should play it. We should we should play it some night. All right, I have it, so I'll I be mean, terrible. We at don't it, have to play it. We don't have to play our Game Pass game until Thursday. So that's true. What do you got this week? Uh, nothing. I'm just streaming. Got stream. I got some be. streams I got to do, but you know, you know me. I'm usually done by the time you get on. <laughs> until the time changes. <laughs> Wait, Nut says he bought the game six months ago and then it came to Game Pass. <laughs> it happens. It does happen. I've seen that happen before. It's happened to me too, Nuts. Happens a lot. Yeah. I bought it's... Golf with Your Friends twice. And I got a, I bought it for me. I bought it for a friend. And I got a review code. Uh. And it went to Game Pass the same day it came out. I was like, you got to be kidding me. That sucks. I was like... But it's okay, you know, it's all right. It happens. Um, yeah, let's try. Want to try Siege on Tuesday? Yeah, tactical, let's try it. T- Tactical Tuesdays? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> My phone Tuesdays. is blowing up. Something's happening in football right now. Uh-oh. Let's see. Oh, it's just, oh, Andy Dalton got hurt today, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you know who Andy Dalton is? I do not. 
He's the backup quarterback for the Cowboys. Oh, wait. Didn't their other quarterback get, yeah. ki- her, get hurt? I said killed. <laughs> get hurt. He like, killed. Not killed. Like, we don't play video games. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, but he got hurt really bad like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, he's out for the season. Like, yeah. Surgery, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and then Andy Dalton got a head injury today. And now there's – who are they talking about? My brother-in-laws are all talking about it. And then I heard them all ask, who the heck is this? Ben <laughs> Danucci. Yeah, I don't know. Ben Danucci is their quarterback right now. Well, he was their quarterback for the rest of the game. Hey, all right. <laughs> That's all we can say to that. I was like <laughs> – Oh, look at that. I bought totally reliable delivery services, too. Oh, uh, yeah, that was definitely on Game Pass. Nuts. That was such a fun game. I mean, <laughs> like, it was like it was just like a good two, three. I think we played it for three hours of just like yelling, me and Bubba, <laughs> trying to figure out how to drive everything and like just slamming into stuff, like skydiving, That's seeing funny. how far we can launch each other. It's a good time. <laughs> um... There's one other game that I'm actually kind of interested. In. You got? Have you looked at this Immortals Phoenix Rising? Uh, I did. Uh, I looked at it. Uh, it's like it's. We've talked isn't about it, it a spelled times. weird. Like it's it's not spelled like normal F-E-N-Y-X. Phoenix. E N Y X. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like. Uh, is it Breath of the Wild? Sort of. Yeah. But it's on. But it's on. Like is a, it? Is it on PlayStation or what is it on? Everything. You've oh, got. it's on. Okay, Switch. Uh, okay, I just looked it up. It's on PlayStation, Switch, it. Google Stadia. I'm, I'm down. I'm down wait. to play that game when it comes out. Wait. I was looking at it. I was like, it kind of looks like fun. Oh, yeah, Xbox One, Series X. Yeah, that does look kind of cool, though. It does look oh, kind of cool. Sorry. What is this? There's another game that's coming to Game Pass. Goner? Is it Goner or Gooner? I don't know. I don't know. G-O-N-N-E-R 2. Oh, it's already out. It's a G-O. Roguelike, roguelike platformer. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, roguelike video game developed by Art and Heart. It looks pretty interesting. Look at the art. The art style is different. Yeah, it looks weird, though. Yeah. I was looking at it. I was like, hmm. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty weird. <laughs> It is pretty weird. Look at that. The the artwork for it, just the artwork for the uh, the game itself, not the, the art style of the actual gameplay, but even that is weird. Four player it's different. co-op, too. Four player co-op. Wow, it looks madness. Yeah. <laughs> when you see the four player co-op, there it is. It is everywhere. It's and all it's like on, pastel colors. Yeah, it's on Switch, too. Generate I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of fun too. I might have to download <laughs> that one, just give it a go, get yeah. some people play. Yeah, we have to do that. But we're playing Grand Fandango this week because Halloween and Grand Fandango's uh, very uh, Dia de los Muertos. Halloween? <laughs> you said weenie. <laughs> Sorry, somebody said that to me the other day when I was at work. I was like, oh, this box looks very Halloween y. She's like, you said weenie. And she's like an old lady. And I was like, <laughs> I just like I was like, uh, yep, I did. <laughs> I was like, that was weird. <laughs> no, I've had some people say some weird stuff before when I'm delivering. I can imagine. I, I, I've been on the phone with you a couple times. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy's just weird in general. <laughs> uh, I see that guy every day. Versus security guard for a place. <laughs> he's a weirdo, <laughs> but he's cool. But he's yeah. a weirdo, aren't we all though? Yeah, at times. Um, so let's talk about our game of the week. We game played of the a week. really different kind of game, but I yeah. actually I didn't know I didn't know what I was expecting. I don't either. It was that wasn't what I was expecting at all, and uh, pleasantly surprised. Yeah. So this week we played Katana Zero. I'm actually going to go straight to their website because their website like is really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so Katana Zero Xbox One. Um, I'm going to read what they say for their their uh, definition. It says, Katana Zero is a stylish neo nor action platformer featuring breakneck action and instant death combat. Slash, dash, and manipulate time to unravel your past in a beautifully brutal acrobatic display. Okay, so blood. <laughs> yeah, lots that of was blood. There. Lots of um, it. You die instantly. Oh, yeah. 
And you die a lot. Yep. And it sucks because you have to restart the whole level. Yeah, it and starts it is, you back. Yeah, that. Was... Yeah, it is so like you, you, you have to be on, like the fly with a lot of those hits. Mm -hmm. like, you dodge, yeah. hit, dodge, hit, dodge, uh, hit, dodge, hit, catch, throw, dodge. Don't go that far. Like make sure you don't slide. Just like a freaking pixel over and hit that guy. You're like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cool though. It's a cool game. Did it come out? Yeah, it came out day one on Game Pass. That's cool. I don't realize. Yeah, that. October fifteenth, yeah. twenty twenty. There's um, there's some really cool stuff in it though, and and it's all like eight bit, you know. There's a lot of little humor too. That's what I yeah. really enjoyed too. I was like I was like <laughs> reading stuff. I was like yeah that was yeah cool. all right, yeah all right. that's a good one. Yeah, it was uh, it was very very cool. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So you played it on console, correct? I did. I played it on console. I played it on Xbox. I played it on xCloud. Oh. How was that? One, it was a little rough. Okay. Because you you have, I mean, there is, right, you have to have input delay. Sure. Especially hitting a server like that. Like if right. you're playing directly, just you, that's the only delay you have really is your controller and your TV. Right. But I had controller to tablet to Microsoft servers. Right. Which was hitting, like, I mean, you got to take all the jumps to get to that, right? Like, <laughs> And it's actually it. It still I went pretty far just playing it like that. I was really impressed. I was like, huh. yeah. I, was, I didn't because that this is like that was my second like good dive into Game Pass like mm -hmm. XCloud because I I did it with uh I actually I think I told you about this. So we started playing ESL obviously this week right or last week. I've been loving it. Like I am grateful that I started playing the game. It's super fun. But I played an MMO on xCloud on a tablet uh-huh so that's playing xCloud so streaming from from a tablet to microsoft servers to zenimax servers in an mmo all playing and it was working pretty good I was really like, i was really impressed i was like now was it 1080p no no <laughs> <laughs> was it 720 at times it was close <laughs> yeah but i mean you can only expect so much trying to hit an mmo like that like because that's that's a lot of jumps right especially for something that's in that, like that game and the game doesn't the game's not like a very like there's times where it's pretty good looking but it's right it's it's a it's a mmo so yeah yeah console. yeah yeah and it's five years old so true yeah because when i watched you play it um when you did go live i was like huh i remember i asked you i was like how old is this game was it that one or was it Guild Wars 2? Guild Wars oh, 2 was I'm sorry. really old. That was Guild yeah, that Wars game. 2. That's what it Gosh. was. Yeah. I, I didn't realize you had switched. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such old school. That game is very old school uh, play style. And it was just kind of... <laughs> ESL plays like you're playing Skyrim but with friends. Right. Okay. Okay. But yeah, um, I liked, I liked the, our game of the week though. I, way more than I yeah. thought I would. Way more than I thought I would. I didn't think I was going to like it. It's true. It was good um, times. I like the action. I like the the graphics, the story. Um, there was a whole driving scene where you're on the road and you're fighting on a motorcycle. Yes. That was cool. Um, yeah, I liked it, man. I did. Yeah. That's what I asked. Did you guys ever get into Daisy? I didn't. Believe, believe it or not, I like this is a funny story with Daisy. I'm like, did I, you remember this story? Did I ever tell you this story? We were okay. at PAX East. I don't know if you weren't at this PAX East. I think this was the first PAX East I went to. Okay, I probably was. And like, then. they're there. And like, I don't, I don't, nobody processed it. And I didn't process it either. But I was like, I'm like sitting there and we're at the Xbox booth. And I'm like, I was like, that's DayZ on Xbox. I was like, that's what? I was like, I looked on my phone. I was like, this isn't supposed to happen. And it's just like in the little indie, like you know how they have those little indie sections at the conventions, right? Just like a bunch of random little games. Like they had a what's that? The mountain biking game, like Descenders, like Descenders, right? Yeah, like yeah. It was yeah. Those, those kind of games were like, and so I like took a picture of it and tweeted at them. I was like, I was like, hey, Daisy's coming to Xbox, coming to the, coming to Xbox. Like super excited for this, and like I tagged them and stuff, and then they retweeted it. Oh my gosh! Did I expect that? To happen? <laughs> it went, dude. My phone blew up for like a week straight. <laughs> like I was like, ah. 
I was like, I would not want to be a famous person. I was like, I don't oh know, man, like I know. It was nonstop, and then I got like, I got haters coming in, dude, and like just really, yeah, dude. And then people like hating on them, hating on me. I'm like, dude, I was like, I just tweeted a picture, dog. <laughs> <laughs> But I became really good friends with, like, the, the developer there. Like, we talked a lot, dude. He was, like, one of the OG developers for the game. Super cool dude. Oh, that's cool. I saw him on, like, one of the inside Xbox things. He was on the screen. I was like, oh, my gosh, I know that guy. <laughs> I played it a little bit when it came out at launch, but... Anyways, Katana Zero, sorry. Jay-Z <laughs> did come to Game Pass. I think it still is on Game Pass, if I'm... Yeah. Pretty sure it is, but... So, yeah. So, you said you like the graphics. Uh, I mean... I'm not really a fan of 16 or right, eight, eight or 16 bit games. Yeah, eight or 16 on that one. I, I don't know. A lot of people say eight bit because it's just common, but I think a lot of times yeah. it's 16. Yeah, because it seemed it was a really smaller pixels, but they were still. Yeah. There. Um, You're nuts. It was... There's also 10 bit too, so it's, there's a difference, but I don't know. It's, it's, I, I, it's hard for me to go, Ooh, it looked so awesome. You know what I mean? Um, but that being said, they, what they did with what they had, um, was pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. You know what I mean? The blood though, huh? Yeah. And why we keep picking bloody games, man? That, uh, what was that one? We played oh, the monster one. What was that one? The, um, Oh, hold on. Cause I still, I still I need forgot. to put up, I still need to, um, uh, carry in. Yeah. yeah, I still need to put up my video that I did where I went through first time playthrough on that. Yeah, that game was oh, super, dude. super, super, super play. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was very yes, play. JMB. JMB says, are you ready for the holiday peak season soon for UPS? Yes. I just want it to be over with. That's <laughs> like, that's like, it's how it was. Except I just want this year to be over. Let's be real. Yeah. Been miserable man it's, i feel like it has it stopped being christmas this whole year <laughs> yeah it is kind of rough for you i know <laughs> it's been fun make a lot of money though not that much that's all that matters yeah right? then you'll see your family much um how do you feel with the story the story was cool i actually really liked the story i thought the story was really cool um i liked um the whole idea where it's this this you know this, i don't know what he was ronin and Nin or samurai whatever he was um, and then he had like these, this backstory of, of his family and some trauma that he went through and he was dealing with that. And then, you know, it was very, um, the story wasn't super deep. It's very, it, it reminded me of actual games I used to play back in the day, like on my super NES and all that stuff, you know, it, yeah. it, you know, the way they tell the story and, um, but you know, it, it didn't, it wasn't like amazing or anything, but it was, you know, it was a story. I think it fit. It fit the game, you know. Yeah, it's true. It's I want. I wish. So it's it's published by Devolver Digital, but I don't know. It's ASCII Soft. I don't even know. Who ASCII that is. Soft. Yeah, I never heard of it. I think that's a play on um a play on the word um. At, you know what you know what ASCII is, right? So, uh, it's uh, it's like a it's abbreviations for um i don't know what the actual word is but it's like it's it's uh all based on um like character and codes for characters so like uh um there is a number there's a decimal number there's a hexadecimal number uh for like different things in coding and so they they just what they did was they just switched out the k it's normally a s c i i but they changed out the K. So that's my guess is what they're there to play on that word. It might be. So yeah. they've made three games. They made, I guess, Tower of Heaven. People are saying that they were saying it's an acclaimed game, whatever that means mm -hmm. anymore. 2009 <laughs> PC Mac uh, and then overpowered PC Mac. And then yeah, uh, it looks like it came. Katana Zero actually came out on PC Mac and Switch before oh. before it came to the other platforms. So it came out in 2019 for those platforms. And then we got those now. But. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, 2019. American Standard Code for Information Interchange. That's what ASCII means. And they just changed uh, out the, the, the C for the K. But yeah. Uh, um, replayability. Hmm. 
I'll tell you what, when I finished a mission, the last thing on my mind was thinking going back go and back doing that again. again. Yeah, I was like, oh. Like, oh, I got no. out of that one. That would yeah. take forever. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely pass on the replayability. I'm not sure that's supposed to be replayable, though. That's one of those, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, it doesn't mean that people won't replay it, but I don't think it's set up as play it again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. But yeah, it's true. But it was still fun. Yeah, I liked it. Um, uh, really, Hey, we could talk about other things, but really, that, that's pretty much it. Like, things you would change. There's, it's just the way the game is. Like, you don't really need to change nah. anything on it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Like, it is what it is. Right, it's, it's, right. And you played it. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. I did like game. it. game. Wouldn't play it again, but I had mm -hmm. fun when I did play it. Yep. Actually, I played it three different times when I did play it, so. Uh, you know, I did too, actually. I jumped back on it. I played it about three times just to go back and try and progress some more in it. Yeah. I actually liked I it. I probably won't even delete it or... Uh, um, un... not, I think it's like 110 megabytes. Yeah, I probably go back and play it some more because I actually liked it that much to play it again. You know, I didn't finish it, but I'll play it again. Get it, get it done at least. Yeah. Yeah. It was good, man. I liked it. Well, uh, that was our game of the week. This next week, we already said our game of the week is going to be Grim Fandango. Grim Fandango. The game comes out on Game Pass on Thursday. The game's already out, obviously, but it's going to be on Game Pass on Thursday the 29th. Uh, we will be playing that game because it looks really fun. Yeah. And it's um, Halloween. I'm trying to think. What do you got planned this week, you got me? This week. Yeah, so. Uh, so, so, uh. You finish I, your Gomi Show Me, right? No, uh, we have YMV, one more. YMV TV. YMV TV. YMV TV. The last episode for YMV TV was last night for the season. Uh, where that was our second season. And we did 11 episodes, so 22 episodes total of that. Um, okay. And since we've come over to Twitch, I talked with the, my viewers last night in the community and thought, uh, how about I go back and redo the first episodes so people who had not seen the show before can watch, could see some of the old videos that we've shown before, you know. So that, yeah. that, that could be a thing for next season. Uh, but tomorrow, um, I'll, I may be moving guitars or something to Monday because Tuesday night before obviously before we play I'm going to be uh, we're going to be in the music studio and we're going to be um, producing we're going to be creating horror music horror movie music live we're going to write horror music live Ooh. yeah this week's going to be Halloween stuff oh, I think it's Halloween theme. yeah and then I think this I think we're going to do candy we're going to do a Halloween candy tier list I think maybe Wednesday Okay. A lot of people, you, a lot of community are excited about that. Are you going to buy like all of them? No, 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 no. We're just going to know. No, we're I'd just going to. cool it, man. Like, no, dude, because I would like it so sick. No, we're going to do it all digitally. You got to uh, eat it all. You, can oh, you know, it dude, hall. you're talking to me. Kill, you're talking to me. <laughs> I will eat you know, every eat single one, even the ones I don't like. I'll eat every single one of them. So, um, but then, uh, Thursday, hey, that's how I found out that I actually like candy corn. I uh, used to, like, everybody didn't like candy. Everybody's like, Oh, candy corn, Ew, candy corn. Then I like started eating. It. I was like, yeah, this stuff's actually pretty good. I like, <laughs> yeah. I don't <laughs> think it's bad. I don't know. Or Smarties. That was the same thing with me as Smarties, like American Smarties, not Canadian Smarties. Right, right, right. But, uh, yeah. And then some DJ sets. And then Saturday is, uh, the Halloween edition of Yokomi Show Me, where we are going mm -hmm. We're covering horror movies. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of people are excited about that one too because everybody's been in the Discord and getting their answers ready. There's 30 questions of over horror movies. Uh, oh, you're I, doing that on Saturday too? So on Halloween night? On Halloween night, yes. Ooh, yeah, on Halloween good night. Good timing, huh? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I know. And um, I, put, I put together a pretty good presentation for it too. So... It's going to be live, but it's, I've, I've found so many trailers for some of these movies that I didn't. It's going to be fun. I'm really excited about it. What about you? Um, I am going to try to stream this week. Like I said, I was going to last week and, you know. Yeah. Things just happen all the time. I know. You know like, like Tuesdays, I end up getting a long day at work. I'm like, come on, man. Then I get home. I don't want to stream. But this yeah. week, I'll probably stream Tuesdays and Tuesday and Thursday and then. Me and Chip will be doing stuff. I'll be working Monday, Wednesday, and then me and Chip will be doing uh, doing the football game again on Friday. So. Oh, nice, nice. Maybe I'll just like I'll uh, restream it to my channel so you guys can watch the game. I'm just kidding. There you go. It'd be kind of funny, but I'm sure we could do it. But 
It'd be kind of one of those things you guys would be like, hey, you're watching football. Yeah. Nice. Might be fun to do. Nice. Um, let's do a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters, guys. We got Pyrotics, Five's Magic Number, Cheesehead, your boy Wiggle, Queso Cabeza. Oh, oh wait, he changed back to Cheesehead now. Yeah, he did. It's cheesehead. So he's back to Cheesehead with underscores. It yeah. used to be Cheesehead from Mixer. Yeah. And then went to Queso Cabeza and now it's Cheesehead. I think it's like four underscores. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a few. I mean, you get to a point where people are taking it all, so. Yeah. Uh, Miss B. I'm nuts for butts. R56 Cooper and um, you know the name confuses me every time. We're just gonna call it JD. It's we got JD. You got the Dean Master, or as it is in my Discord, it's JD's fault because it's a play on Josh's name, which is it's Josh's fault. <laughs> um, so yeah, they just they they like to go at it, and that's just how it works. Um, trying to think. Are you thinking about getting a Watch Dogs, or are you just kind of like, eh, try to see what happens? I, yeah, let's see what happens. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Josh, no, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dang. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I might watch people. But, like, that Torchlight, like, it, tor- like Torchlight 3 came out, right, last week? Yeah, and yeah. And I don't know. I, I looked at people playing it, and then I knew it was a game that would be fun to play. Yeah, Very Diablo, but casually more like it's in between Diablo three and uh, Minecraft Dungeons. But right. I don't know. I looked into it and I was like, I was watching streams. I was like, nobody even <laughs> watches this game. Yeah, it's like it's not doing anything. It's just no. sitting there. And I was like, yeah. And so didn't get the hype everybody wanted to get on I it. Guess but not. Okay, no. that's pretty much that's a lot of games these days. It is. It and is the games that do get blown up. Nobody saw coming. Right. So, among Us, Fast Among Us, yeah, like, like uh, Among Us is what? like a few Why can't years I old. I think of the game now. What was uh, the game uh, where everybody the funny? Everybody's oh, playing the, the Fall Guys. guys? Like, fall Guys. I'm like, yeah. they like they're from Among Us, but they're yeah, <laughs> like they blew up. I don't see. Do people still play that? See, it kind of died out. Seems yeah, like. dude. So there was actually like a college tournament that just went down, and like some junior college, I believe, won, which is kind of really. Crazy. Yeah. So like. <laughs> Oh, just because wow. you're at a uni doesn't mean you're like a professor. No, that game, that game is like a large part of that game is luck, there's right? Skill, obviously, but yeah, there's also a lot of luck, <laughs> right? Yeah. But sometimes that game will just blatantly screw you over. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. I've seen people like, get so why? frustrated. Why? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I've seen people get really heated from that. But oh well. Dude, we're so close to Xboxes. I just keep looking at the day and I'm like. <laughs> This is like it's right there. Like it's October twenty fifth, dude. Like I know. It's just right. Like it's. I can like. I'm looking at the calendar. It's, it's just right. It's just right there. Right it's there. Over two weeks, man. Over two oh. weeks. I might yep. go into my Amazon and see if I can just get that one sent directly to you and make it easier. It'd be kind of nice. <laughs> might do that. That'd be great. I'm be awesome. That issue with spammers last week. I believe it. Oh, I heard about that too. Actually. They were putting in, uh, they're putting, weren't they putting in their links to their Twitch channels or something like that, mainly Chip? I believe that's what it was. Like they were that's spamming good. links or something in the chat or something like that. Well, it's like people think that if you tell people to go to your channel, that it'll make people like you. They're like, wow, this guy's got some really good tactics. I should go see what he's up to. Uh, has there been any word, uh, any more on it? What's up, Hammer Shot on Series X being, uh, oh, the All so, Access? This is my guess. Uh, I don't know for sure, guys, but my guess is if you go to stores on the 10th, that there's going to be Xboxes there. Yeah. Not a lot, but they're going to have stuff for you guys to buy. Because I, I, from the rumors that we've heard is the Xbox has been put in out. Oh, that's what it was. YouTube links. They sell hacks. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine Losers. getting hacks to play Among Us? <laughs> it's like, oh I know God. who did it. I already used the hack. I know it was you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, you're not right. playing the game right. <laughs> yeah, you're already done. All right, start over. <laughs> this is dumb, man. You can hide <laughs> tracks better, bro. You're like, you're not even hiding tracks. You just have a thing that tells you who it is. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I guess that's the episode for this week, guys. Uh, a little over an hour, 15 minutes-ish, give or take. Yeah. But um, we'll be back again next week. 
I want to say two. It'll still be two o'clock Pacific Standard Time, but it will be three o'clock my time. True. It's weird. I'm gonna line up on the ninth Black Friday style. Hey, you're probably not gonna be the only person. So, <laughs> but it's okay. I got three Xboxes, guys. So just remember that. You all weren't trying hard enough or something, huh? No, I'm just I, I tried. I just had good luck, and I was like, I was determined, bro. I'm in there freaking refreshing, like. I sat on Microsoft's page for probably two hours, just refreshing, 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 and then finally it let me through. It was annoying. But yeah, you guys, we love your faces. We'll be back next week, like we said, and we will see y'all later. All right, guys. See ya.